Hey, everybody, John Granado from the bench, mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5, and A.J. Hoffman from the Blitz afternoons on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. A.J., I was shocked when Bill O'Brien got fired after four games. I thought Dude could go 0-16. With all the power that he had, I thought there's no way they're going to fire this guy, and yet they did after just four games. And I'm thinking the favorite right now is that Jack Easterby gets fired sooner rather than later. There's too much crap swirling around this guy. Am I off on this or no? I, I mean, I it, based on the I, – I never would have thought they'd fire O'Brien. So based on that, you might be right. Uh, but I, I think the, the reason why everyone's so upset about Nick Casario is because it reeks of a Jack Easterby hire. And – it, it, it seems like he's just entrenching himself more and more into this organization. But that's the same thing we thought about Bill O'Brien. So I, I, I don't expect that he'll be fired, uh, but there's, we're starting to see things stack up against him. And, you know, this is obviously the Casario hiring has been poorly received by many uh, for, for whatever reason, but mostly because people think it's a Casario hire, I believe. And now you're starting to get some – some disgruntled people that are really, really important, more important than fans, like maybe your quarterback. So it's starting to get a little bit ugly. Uh, it, now, at this point now, I would say I wouldn't be shocked if they moved on from him. Yeah. No, I, I, listen, there's too much stuff. There's too much stuff. And, and, and you just hired a general manager that you've wanted for a year and a half, and there's nothing but negativity around it because Jack Easterby is involved, not only involved, but it, you're right, it was a Jack Easterby hire. This whole scheme started a year and a half ago last June with the whole Brian Gain firing and everything else and the tampering and everything else, and now it's come to fruition. You sh This organization should be thrilled where they're at right now, and they're just not. And now, uh, Mike Florio, but we, we knew about this beforehand, uh, Mike Florio put out that Deshaun Watson, the rumors are out there that Deshaun Watson wants to be traded. It is in direct response to Nick Casario being hired because Deshaun that night put out the more things change, dot, dot, dot. So Easterby, not indirectly, directly, Easterby now is responsible for Deshaun wanting to be traded. This sucks. It really does. And, and the truth of it is the Texans can't trade Deshaun. Uh, there's not a... There's not a package that could come back that you would go, you know what, that's fair value for Deshaun, or at least a package that a, a, a decently smart team would offer. So they, they put, And he just signed this deal, so he's stuck himself. So now you're at a position where is Deshaun going to be unhappy the entire time he's here? Is that what we're about to deal with? Which, that doesn't sound promising. It, it's just the, the negative ticks continue to just pile up on this organization, and they, they are rapidly becoming... Raiders level, Browns level, laughable. It, it, it really is a, a sad situation here. You know, and it's funny, and you know, the thought is that Jack Easterby is not going to be involved in football related decisions. I think that's almost going to be impossible because you, we see Brandon Cooks came over. He, Brandon Cooks was a Jack Easterby guy. Jack, Brandon Cooks, by all accounts, is a great guy, family man, all of the things that Jack Easterby, God fearing, all of those things that Jack Easterby covets, and they're, they're, and so they're, they're great guys. Do you, do you think if they bring a, a bad guy in here that Jack Easterby isn't going to, or wanting to bring a bad guy in here that's a good football player, that Jack Easterby isn't going to step up and put his nose into football-related decisions? Well, what we do know is that's that's been the Texans' M.O. for a long time, is they, are, they, they tend to steer away from, from guys with questionable character, which has bit them in the ass at times. I mean, I, that, I remember Kevin Johnson over Marcus Peters being something that, that kind of jumps out uh, when you've passed on the more talented guy for the safer, nicer guy. But I, 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 I'll say this. I, I think that he cannot get away from having impact on football decisions because I feel like his slimy fingerprints are on the Casario hiring to begin with. He wanted Casario because he knew Casario would be willing to work with him. And to me, that says that they are a team and they're going to make these decisions together uh, based on what whatever each of them thinks is the right thing to base things on. I, I agree with you. Easterby tends to make decisions based on character to almost to a fault. 
uh, and overlooking football things. Hopefully, hopefully Nick Casario is a little more locked into what's what's important as far as how good how good of a player are these guys. But I I, I really don't think there's a way to separate them now. I think they're kind of connected. Oh, I think that's a no, and I think that's a, a that's a huge problem, and it will be a huge problem for Nick Casario that he got this job because Jack Easterby pulled the strings behind the scenes, and I think if 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 Nick Casario wants to be considered a a GM and ha- and a reputable GM in the league, he's going to have to separate. He's going to cut that umbilical cord from from Jack Easterby, which is Jack Easterby did all of this so that he could save himself, and I think it's going to be his undoing in the well, long run. Well, and that's a risky move because if if Jack Easterby is in as tight as people think they are with with Cal McNair, and and you know it has so much sway over the organization, and you cut yourself away from him. What does that do for you long term? Does that keep you around long term? It, 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 there really is a lot of confusion and muddled sort of uh, you know roles because of, of the relationship that those guys have. It's, it's just a total mess, John. Why can't we just have a football team? Why, why do we have like why, Washington? It, it, they even named their team the football oh, team. I'd, ra- you know, I, I'd rather have Washington situation. I'd rather have the Cowboys where they don't really have a GM. I'd rather have anything than this if you want to know the truth.